Well, it's time to strap little green people onto rockets and blow them up for science. It's Kerbal Space Program 2. And they just unlocked the new exploration mode, which gives us science to unlock things in the Research and Development Center. I think that'll be fun. So let's start this campaign and make Jeb really scared. Aw, is he adorable? So the first place we need to go is to Mission Control, because we need to launch a rocket. Launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude at least 10 kilometers for 25 science. We'll track that mission and head over to the vehicle assembly building. Let's just grab some things like a control pod. That'll be fun. And we can't quite use the rocket because we have to strap in a fuel tank. I'm wondering if, I don't know, we'll use the bigger one for science, right? We should probably also get a coupler in here, put that back on. And because we want our friend to live, We'll put on a parachute on the top. Okay, this could work. Now we want the rocket to go first and we want to decouple it and then a parachute. Kerbal manager, Tim, it's not your day, my friend. It's Jebediah's day. Look at his little face in there. He's smiling and happy. I also can make him get out. Actually, I think if I do that, we can run a surface survey. Yeah, get some sick science. Look at that. He just took a sample of the launch pad. <laughs> You dingus. We gotta go take some dirt samples. The ground samples are fertilized loam, small pebbles, and a chunk of asphalt. Tarmac Henry is going to be furious. Okay, so if we go to the grass, I wonder what'll happen. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Go, little dingus. <laughs> He's running. Look how excited he is. All right, we've made it to green. Let's do another surface survey. Oh, is this one different? I don't think it is. All right, that's cool. Oh, this is sneaky. <laughs> These stairs don't actually stairs. So let's confirm the recovery. How did we do? Nicely done. The flight went well. We're submitting our science points and we'll recover our rocket. And now that we've got a little bit of science, we can use that to research some additional things like light launchers. And these are side couplers. Nice, radial decouplers, cool. Uh, how much more science? I have 18 more solid fuel. Environmental science? <gasps> Ooh. Environment survey. If I do that, then we can... Well, we can get more science points. Which means we can actually launch our first rocket and start getting some science in space. Come on, Tim. This is good. This is my favorite part of the game, by the way. The launch. And the non-explosion. There we go. Oh, hot dang. We're going fast. This is a little faster than I thought we were going to go. Okay. We have, well, we've exhausted our fuel tank. We're going up pretty high. I like that. Let's run a crew observation here. You recorded the crew's assessment of the situation. Good job, buddy. All right, Tim, here's, here's gonna be the real problem. We're still going kind of fast, only 300 meters per second. I'm gonna go ahead and need you to uh, evacuate. I'm scared of this. All right. You gotta hold on really good, buddy. You can do it, I promise. Yeah, we're, we're all right. And then I want you to run a crew observation outside. Invalid location. All right, can you get back in, friend? Yes, you can. All right, he did it. Our first spacewalk. And we will transmit our data back to Earth. Kerbin, sorry, it's not actually Earth. Good, four more science points. Well done, Tim. He's our scientist. Okay, at some point here, we will need to drop our parachute, so let's let it go now. Parachute launched. And the Susan hits some air, it'll inflate. Is that called inflating? I mean, we're still high in the atmosphere. Should open fairly soon, get a good splashdown. I guess we're still four kilometers above the planet. Hey, look at his goofy little face, he's so excited. All right, parachute, you gotta open. You gotta open, there it is. Wow, there must have been like very little wind because we're landing nearly exactly where we took off from. All right, Tim, it's gonna be a little bit of a hard landing, but I think you'll be fine. Yes! Active vessel is recoverable. Recover it. We did it. I knew you could do it. Flight status completed. Mission control, what do you have for me now? We'll submit that. Welcome back. Thrilling work on the launch pad today. A reporter passed out because of all the excitement. Wow, could have been the rocket fumes. Asked about, about you, no comment. The joke went over their heads. Wow, that's, that's cringe, I love it. Oh, nice, we've got 25 science. That'll help me unlock quite a few things. Now get out of the atmosphere, hmm. She even altitude of 70 kilometers, and we get 50 science by that. Okay, we'll track that mission. So now we have 37 points. Orbital rocketry, what is this one? Oh, that gives us uh, solid fuel, fuel boosters. Let's grab these, because that could actually take us up. Oh, struts would be nice too, but it's really expensive. And we can send little satellites. I wonder if we can release one. What is this? Introductory construction. Looks like tubes and beams. The launch clamp. 
Aerodynamics and stability. I'm not exactly sure what I want, but aerodynamics and stability seem like a good plan. So does construction. We'll grab those two right now. And then we'll get different decouplers. Oh, cool. We got the swivel engine and solid fuel boosters. The hammers are kind of small. And so are the fleas, but we can use them. Okay, we're gonna try to use the stack bicoupler, which could work out pretty cool. I'm gonna use the swivel ones down here too. I'm hoping that gets us off the ground. I'm not exactly sure. Let's also remove you. We don't need too much stuff. Put the command pod on top. There is another uh, thruster in there. Make sure to put the stabilizer on. Ooh. The wheel stabilizer, forgot about those. We'll put one in the bottom here. That should help out. We also need one of these Science Junior Environment Surveys. I put that right here. All right, Timothy, here's the deal. I don't know if this is actually gonna get to space or not, but I don't wanna blow you up. So, three, two, one, blast off. Oh, balls, oh, balls. Abort mission. Wait, it's working. Here, whoa, okay, those are the wrong, okay. <laughs> we'll pretend that one didn't happen. Well, we're gonna revert back. I don't know why that didn't work. Oh, because I had the the stages wrong. It'd be a shame if I were to use only one rocket at a time instead of two, you dingus. This should do a little better. Oh, it's working! Timothy Kerman, you're doing well. He's actually going to space. He's going to space. Nothing bad has happened yet, I don't think. How's our fuel supply look? Oh, all of our fuel is going at once. No, 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 it's actually okay, because this one's going next. Wow, we're gonna get a huge, a huge atmosphere on this. It's been a long time since I built the rocket in this game, by the way. All right, we need to start tipping. Ooh, okay, you know what? These were the wrong control things. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want actual plane wings in here. And I think I'm going against the orbit. Yeah, great. All right. That one actually worked. Beautiful. Or I guess we're gonna just punch straight out of the atmosphere the best we can. Good news, we actually might make that 70,000 meters. I'm relatively impressed with myself. Ha, ah, dang, we did it. Now we're not getting into orbit, but I can totally run an environmental survey up here. Low orbit, low orbit, nice. Okay, do we wanna do a spacewalk? Tim, do you wanna do a spacewalk? He's doing a spacewalk. Let me tell me, tell me what your people see. Run crew. Why is this always uh, an invalid location? Fine, get back in there. It's safer inside. We're gonna jettison. I don't think I'm in orbit. You know, it actually got fairly high up in altitude. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, we have an apoapsis. We might have been able to get into orbit with that craft if I would have used the right wings. We're also gonna transmit our data back to the planet. Oh, out of electrical charge. Well. We'll land with it. I need batteries or solar panels or something. Oh boy, we're going a little fast. Uh-oh, yeah, it's totally out of electric. Ah, uh, great. A little scared, little scared. We're gonna deploy, I forgot, I forgot about re-entry. Oh, balls! Wait, he survived! <laughs> Timothy, I'm proud of you, my son. I don't know how he survived that, but he's happy. Oh wait, can we get out? Aww. Time warp, oh, we gotta get a time warp. We wanna get out. He's like, yay, I'm in water. Can we get a surface sample? Oh, invalid research location is literally the ocean. You've got nothing else to do. I was very concerned that we were gonna die. But confirm recovery, mission complete, and a buttload of science points. Hot dang, <laughs> this is fun. So back to mission control we go. Complete launch track mission out of the atmosphere. Let's submit that for 50 science points. <laughs> you also did so with minimal explosions. I mean, re-entry was a bit rough, but we're good. Take that jab, that's right. Turns our intern snuck a mean sticky note into our break room on his behalf. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Silly intern. Thanks, science. So we got like, what, 110? Oh, buoyancy test. Hey, wait, launch a land a pod in a body of water on Kerman. I just did that. I was good at that and orbit. Okay, establish orbit with an apoapsis less than 300,000 and a periapsis greater than 70. So that's a little bit more difficulty. We might be able to get the buoyancy test with it though. We can also get some sick points here. Specialized decoupling, survivability, better parachutes. We need that for Tim and light aviation. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely not doing that yet. Okay, I probably will never use these because I'm not smart enough to know how. 
Separatrons. That's kind of cool. I don't know if we need those yet. We have 289 points. How did we get so many? All right, just research all the things. Struts and probes, lights and utilities. Oh yeah, the ladder. That's cool. Okay, we have uh, landing legs. Oh my goodness. Could we actually make it to the mun? And then there's the mun landing. Okay, a lander can. Oh boy, I'm scared. One thing I might want to get is some solar panels, rechargeable battery. Is there other ones? Okay, we have spotlights. I wanted a small one, but we'll get a bigger one. Where did my spaceship go? I'm gonna have to build a new one. Fine. I'm gonna need a bigger parachute on the top. Ooh, that's a radial parachute. That might work. Hold up. All right. Let's just put three of these things on here, like such as. And we'll put one on the nose hole. We don't need any science on this adventure. And we get the duct tape, so let's slap these things together just to hold them in nicely. All right, we're gonna use stabilizers instead of control surfaces this time too. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, Probably need to make sure these stages are done properly. <laughs> Wouldn't want that problem to happen again. Okay, then we'll wanna decouple next. Come on, come on, there we go. No, you, come down here. There you go. All right, decouple, then launch that, and then... Okay, so these two, decouple happens, launch this one, three parachutes. And we have liftoff. This doesn't seem to be getting as much as it did before. We are gonna start to need to turn over to go to the east as well. Okay, are we getting there? I forget what level above ground we start turning, but we're gonna go pretty soon here. Okay, I'm gonna go to about, I don't know, 2,000 meters? We have a third of our fuel gone. Two thirds of our fuel is gone. We're 12,000 meters up, 13,000. Almost getting into the second stage of the atmosphere. This is looking pretty good. I am not sure if we have enough fuel or not. Okay, we made it to out. Decouple, that'll fall off. Let's look at the map view. We are gonna get up pretty high. What is this height? We're gonna create a maneuver point right in here. Oh, and I totally forgot how to do this. Okay, stretch that out. And it appears as if we will achieve orbit. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, we have to start burning two minutes. We're gonna focus towards our point here. It's been months since I played this, so I don't exactly remember how to do this. Also, is this a solid fuel? Can we shut it off after? Like, do we have throttle? Okay, we do have throttle. I was gonna put on our, what are they called? Solar panels so I can transmit to. Okay, we're getting close. <laughs> I don't wanna mess this up. Actually, it's kind of hard to mess up at this point but I'm sure I'll figure out a way. As long as I'm pointed towards the right direction. Okay, we're gonna see. Six, five, I'm just gonna go for it. Noises are happening. I'm not sure why noises happened. Uh, stop burn in 18 seconds. It's looking good. We're getting an orbit. Need to make it past and achievement unlocked. Yes, ha ha ha, I got orbit, we got orbit. Timothy Kerbin. It's one small step for Kerbals. Well, it's not quite, because we're not on the moon yet. I don't even know if we can do observation. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll transmit that back too. Why not? That way, if he doesn't come home, we still get the treasure. Yeah. Now the question is, can we actually go back down to the planet? We need to make a maneuver point. Whoa, that's really wiggly. Make a maneuver point, and then we need to we need to crash. Not crash, but you know what I mean. At the apoapsis, and then let's just make sure we just need to degrade, and I want to fall into water. That's close. That looks pretty good. There's a little spot there. We have 350 delta V, and this will take 100. So, okay. We'll also have to turn our boat around, which they should be doing right now. And full throttle backwards. We really just need to get into the water. Perfect. As long as we don't land on one of those little tiny islands. Uh-oh. What was that? Is that one of our parachutes that just blew up? Might have been. Something just popped off. Okay, we need to turn the SAS off. I have to... Like, oh, I just unstaged it. Uh-oh. Well, let's let... Oh, balls. Is heat on in this? I don't remember. Did they turn heat on? Oh, things, okay, parachutes out, deployed. Me, it's slowing down, hot dang. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button instead of the thrust. Oh, wow. Okay, we slow down slightly. <laughs> We're still going stupidly fast. Oh, we are slowing down though. Hey, hey, look at us. We still gonna crash into the water? It looks like it. Hot dang, Timothy, you're the best. 
We have so much science. Let's just transmit all of our science. Oh, it's taking up so many watts. Okay, we got another one out. <laughs> that one's not out of charge. We should have little windmills on the side. Oh, that's what burned off one of our stabilizers. Look at science man, Tim. Oh, wow, the parachutes literally came out of his face. <laughs> it's working, though. All of the parachutes have deployed properly. We've slowed down to five meters per second. I'm going to cut away some of these just to make it land a little faster. <laughs> I feel bad. Just kidding, I don't. I think we're still going to be okay. And splashdown achieved. That was beautiful. We executed that perfectly. We got even the secondary mission. Recover the vessel. Tim survived yet again. And Mission Control is very happy with us. You floated. You kind of look like an ice cube and a big old cup of coffee. Wait, people put ice in their coffee? I guess it's ice coffee. Our vessels, vessels don't melt. They kind of did. Uh, recovery team is out there in full force today. Boats, helicopters, free swimming and floaties. You think they'd realize it's faster to use a boat than doggy paddle a vessel. That was a long way away. <laughs> nice. 40 science points for that. And orbit Kerbin. How much should we get for this? 75. Sick. Magnificent magnet of scientific study. You did amazing. Thank you. Uh-oh. To Mun or bust. Establish an orbit around Mun with an apoapsis of 2,400 kilometers. Okay, going green. What is this? Science Junior Environment Study on Kerbin. I mean, that's super easy. And spacewalking, EVA on... I did all of those. I'm so good at them. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video of Kerbal Space Program. Pro them. I can't words. If you enjoyed it, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We're going to moon next time. And I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Splatter Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scatter D, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Please, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Blank Hewitt, Tyler J, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Wyatt H, Otto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippias, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Ritla Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Baxter, Ral, VC Engineer, Scars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, and YH.